Hi. So um, today we are going to look at how to use um, Quixel displacement map to bake mesh displacement in Unreal and how that works with uh, Nanite. Ever since uh, UE5 came out, I have not found a tutorial yet on how to achieve displacement um, without using the deprecated uh, tessellation. Uh, I'm not an expert in materials, so this workflow might not be optimal for you. But if you find a better way to do this, uh, do let me know. So first we're going to go to the plugins and enable modeling tools. Going to create um, two sets of plane here. Going to make it uh, two meters. Create the second plane. Then I'm going to import the material from Bridge. Bridge is baked in um, UE5. Going to find this rocky surface. After download is done, just export. And we'll find it here in Megascans. As you can see, this new material from um, Quixel in UE5 doesn't have tessellation. It does have normal map but it looks um, quite flat. If you go to the um, main uh, master material that's included in Quixel, you'll see now it has um, three materials. Um, so albedo and normals and also ARD. So the displacement map is picked in the blue channel which they are not using. So we are going to need to extract that um, blue channel. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to export this and use um, GIMP, um, but you can use any other tool of uh, uh, Photoshop um, or anything that can separate the RGB layer. I have not yet found a way to do this in Unreal. Maybe um, using um, a virtual texture is possible to, um, to run that during runtime, but I'm just going to do this outside. So you break uh, the RGB components. You're just going to get the blue channel, which is the displacement. Going to import this back to Unreal. We're going to merge um, this plane mesh to a new mesh, um, static mesh. Going to call it plain rock ground. Going to reset the scale back. Open up the modeling tools. 
going to add uh, triangles from 5,000 to 500 uh, K. Once that's done, hit on displace and change to a texture map. We're going to use that displacement map to change the mesh. Now you see here, without a texture, it changes the, um, the static mesh itself. Hit accept, uh, save the mesh, and next we're going to enable the nanite. Save again. And uh, put the material back in. Now you see the um, displacement, which is baked in that um, plane mesh, the new plane mesh that we created uh, works a lot better than um, just a flat plane with normal map. And because this is a nanite, uh, it will perform um, better than the old um, displacement um, map on UE4. But of course, uh, you, you can't change it um, on the fly anymore because this is baked in the mesh itself. I think that's it. Um, thank you.